Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Curing Electromagnetic Hypersensitivity. And we're going to talk about the subject of electromagnetic hypersensitivity and that is emissions from these power blocks. Now these are commonly called switch mode power supplies. And inside here is a bunch of electronics that's functioning at high frequencies and it tends to give off a wide range of emissions and we're going to look at those emissions using standard AM radio tuned to static so there's no radio station and we're going to use this meter which reads magnetic and electric fields and what we're looking at today is the Sony device it's an ultimate streaming entertainment blu-ray disc DVD player and the particular model is the BDP S1200 and the reason why we're looking at this model is that it's the only one in the range that does not have Wi-Fi built into it. And many people are having very adverse health reactions to Wi-Fi. And more and more people are starting to realize that the degrading health is actually a health condition called electromagnetic hypersensitivity. And that's what Wi-Fi does to a certain segment of the human population. So those people are likely to buy this particular model of DVD player because it doesn't have Wi-Fi. So we're going to have a little look at the emissions that it does have that may affect somebody who has electromagnetic hypersensitivity. So we're going to start off with the AM radio test and this AM radio it's tuned into static so we're at one end of the band and when you're tuned into static as opposed to a radio station, you can actually hear the background radiation levels changing around these products. So we're going to scan these products while it's switched off, just to get a background reading. Okay, so the radio is not changing at all. So let's switch on the power strip. Okay, so you can see we've got electromagnetic interference coming out of that adapter. And it's approximately a two foot field coming out of that adapter. So these adapters you need to give a wide berth to. You most certainly wouldn't want to be sitting next to one of these adapters when it's coming out of field like that. So let's take a little look at the DVD player. So we can see that the DVD player also seems to have a field. And again, that field's about two feet. So, I'm now going to switch on the DVD player. Okay, it seems to have a field of about three feet on the AM radio static band. So I'm now going to switch it off. And we can do the magnetic field test. So we're on the 0 to 100 range. And let's see what we find. So let's start with the adapter. So this is our switch mode power supply. You can see that we have a little bit of a field coming out of it. It's actually, it says it's 15 milligauss, according to this meter. So let's have a little look over at the player. So the player is not exhibiting any fields. 
but we definitely have the field coming out of the adapters. It's a very small field, it drops off within a few inches. Okay, so let's have a little look at the electric field. So you can see we've got an electric field coming out. It's actually quite large. So it's saying it's about 100 down at the adapter. And that's dropping off as we come up. So there's quite a large electric field coming out of that adapter. So let's have a little look at the player. So, yep, we've got a very big field around the player. It's actually off the display. And if we pull back, we can see that drop down. So we're about two feet away right now, and the field is still detectable. So we definitely have electric fields. So let's switch on the player. Let's see what happens. Okay, the player is now on. So we're still on electric field. And it's quite comparable. So let's have a little look over here. So we're still off the scale. And then it drops down as we move away. So let's go back to the magnetic 0 to 100 range and see what's going on. So we've got a very strong field coming out of this now. It's saying 100 on the display and it drops off pretty quickly as we come up from it. And over here we don't really seem to have anything on the magnetic field. So in this setter it's quite clear that the adapter is probably the biggest risk. Uh, most people who have electromagnetic hypersensitivity st stay away from things like these. And the main reason why I actually purchased this DVD player was not to actually buy a DVD player. This is a 2014 model. And I was curious as to whether the electronics industry had cleaned up these emissions. As Certainly the emissions out of these switch mode power supplies are very notorious for making people sick and turning electrical systems into toxic electrical systems. Now I don't know whether this one does that, but certainly there are definitely switch mode power supplies out there that do have bad effects on the home electrical system and can make the entire home electrical system radiate electromagnetic radiation into the home. So that's where we are. This is a 2014 piece of electronics and that's the emissions that we detected coming out of it with the equipment that we used to detect these emissions. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.